there are no good viable uh, alternatives to uh, uh, jet fuel from, from oil as, uh, for uh, powering airplanes. And so for a very long period of time, we have no choice but to stay with liquid fuels. And there will be liquid fuels. It isn't as if uh, liquid fuels are going to dry up tomorrow, as if uh, you emptied a, uh, um, a bottle of water and it was all of a sudden all gone. Uh, there will be liquid fuels for a long period of time, and we will have to allocate those liquid fuels. And one of the places that will have priority will be airplanes, because there is no way that we have today to power airplanes by anything other than, than liquid fuels. As far as lubricants are concerned, uh, lubricants, of course, come from oil, uh, but they don't, they're not a huge volume, and therefore since lubricants are a very high value product. Uh, one of the things that will be done with the oil that is available is to make lubricants uh, because they are fundamental to uh, too many things in the society. Now when you get out 50 years, uh, 100 years and so forth, things are going to change. We're primarily concerned about the very near term. What happens 100 years from now is, uh, I'm sorry, my crystal ball is very cloudy in that regard.